Hi, it's Daryl here. I'm here to answer your questions on Net Zero or SCCR or ESOS. Um, if you have got any questions, drop me a line. Um, all the details are, are down below in the notes. And uh, do you know what? If I can help you, you know, I will. Okay, so don't feel bashful, send anything through. Far as on holiday, so we've got Sylvia with us at the moment. Sylvia, what's today's question? Uh, when do I need ESOS? When do I need ESOS? Okay, there's, there's two answers to that. Okay, one for people who want to avoid a lot of risk and one who, who don't mind a bit of risk, okay? So let's draw a line here. This is my date line. This date here is a magic date. It is the 5th of December. Okay, 2023. Then we've, oh, let's draw it a bit more to scale. Then we've got 2022 down here. And we're in 2021. And as I write this, we're in just starting November. So that's where we're at. So date number one is the absolute date when you must have completed your ESOS assessment, done all of your site audits, processed all of your data, is the 5th of December, 2023. Um, that's the last date on which you can file your ESOS report. Now, if you're late, they've said that they're going to step up the fines, okay? It's not been approved yet, but it's, there's a 99% chance it's going to happen. And the maximum fine at the moment is a cool £235,000. Now, I don't think they'll throw that at you if you're a day late, but you, know, you are likely to get fined this time around if you are late. So date number one is 5th of December 2022. Three. There's a second date, I'll do this in red, which is January, January the 1st, 2022. The data collection period that we use, you have to collect 12 months worth of data, is this one here, 2022. It doesn't have to be, it's just that's what we use. Um, it's what other people use for lots of just sort of practical, it's easier you know, it's 2022. Now, if you haven't got the right data going into 2022, you'll have a problem. And you might have a problem down here. So if you are risk adverse, make sure that by the January the 1st, 2022, you have, you've had a chat to your lead assessor, um, or, or give a guys here, give the team here a call, um, they'll try and help, and ask them, just want to make sure what data I need so that we're collecting it, so that when we come to do our report down here, we've got the data. That's if you're risk adverse. I have had calls right up to and including the 5th of December in previous ESOS phases. And the longer you lead it, the closer you lead, leave it away from January the 1st, 2022 to start, the higher risk it is. And if you give us a call on, uh, this is no word of a lie, this has happened on the 1st of December, and say, hello, I, I think we need an ESOS assessment. Do you know what? It's not going to happen. It's, it's too much work. So if, you, if you're up for a bit of risk, if you don't mind gambling with a cool 235,000 or whatever it is they're going to find you, 5th of December, uh, the date, if I were you, I'd, I'd stick in your mind is January the 1st, 2022. There you go. How was that? It was that good. That was good. All right. So look, hope that was useful. We've got any questions on that. Anything else, drop me a line. Be glad to hear from you. Thank you.